Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about a step-by-step -step guide on how to use AI Voice Changer to Discord. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. So first, let's go ahead and proceed to this GitHub page right here. I'll make sure that I leave this link in the description below. You're gonna want to scroll down a bit until you see this links right here. So if you're using Mac OS, you're gonna want to go ahead and click this link right here. And if you're using Windows, you're gonna go ahead and click this. So we're gonna choose the second option since this is a Windows tutorial. We're gonna choose this ONNX CPU CUDA PyTorch. You can use Google link right here, but Google has a lot of traffic. I'm just gonna choose Hugging Face for faster download speed. So after proceeding to the Hugging Face link, you're gonna be presented with this page right here. Now I'm just gonna select this Win on X Direct ML CUDA. Make sure your version has this on X Direct ML CUDA in order to work for it properly. So you're just gonna click this to download it. And it's gonna present you with this I'm just gonna click download it right here and it's gonna go ahead and download it for me now this file is 3 gigabyte it's gonna take a while depending on your internet speed so you have to wait a bit after downloading the file just proceed to the chosen download path of the folder mine is only at default so i'm just gonna proceed to downloads folder right here i'm gonna be able to see mmv server iso it's a zip file i'm gonna use winrar to extract this file after extracting i'm gonna click on the extracted folder right here twice and it's gonna present me with this now this is already the file that we are looking for in order to start the program we're gonna find the start underscore http you're just gonna want to click this now this is a python file make sure you have python you can watch another tutorial how to download python you're gonna wait for this to load in in a bit especially if you're launching it for the first time now you can just create shortcut in order to access this file immediately right from your desktop so i'm using windows 11 you're gonna want to click show more options right here and you're gonna want to send to desktop and it's gonna instantly create this shortcut for you so right now we're at the program itself this is the program that we're gonna use the real-time voice changer client so this is my voices right here now you're gonna be presented with four default voices but that doesn't sound very well in english these models are made to be used in japanese so i'm gonna test this model i'm just gonna say konnichiwa right here now i'm a male with a pretty deep voice i guess so i'm gonna turn this tune into 12 and i'm gonna test it out for you i'm gonna say konnichiwa konnichiwa so right there that's the voice i think it's pretty bad because i have a really bad accent also so i'm gonna show you how to download models and i'm gonna sh show you how to tune these settings right here in order to fit your voice properly so first of course we're gonna have to find the right model for you in order to do that or in order to find where it's downloaded from you're gonna have to proceed to discord.com slash invite slash ai hub i'm just gonna click enter and it's gonna direct me to this group right here now under models category you're gonna able to find voice models right here now they have a lot of models definitely you can find models that fit you just to remind you guys this is all for you don't have to pay anything right here so you can literally be anything you want so I have chosen Markiplier here as an example. Now there's three of them. I'm just gonna choose the middle one. Just click on it and it's gonna head you to this community tab right here. They're all talking about Markiplier. Now in order to find the download link, you're just gonna scroll all the way to the top and you're gonna see this huggingface.co. You're just gonna click on it, continue to download and it's gonna directly download for you. Now, each voice ranges from around 100 megabytes to 300 megabytes. So be aware of that. 
so i'm just gonna go back to my discord and see these samples right here so to see these samples you're just gonna click on anything in here i'm just gonna choose this one this is an ai voice Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's, an indie horror game that you guys suggested en masse and I saw the yummy So that right there is a Markiplier sample. Now, we're gonna have to import the downloaded file now, so let's go ahead and do that. After downloading your file, just extract it, go back to your AI tool, click edit right here, and scroll down. This is all my voices, I have customized it up to the 8. I'm gonna choose 9, click upload, and you're gonna want to select model right here, select file, and find your extracted files. Mine is Markiplier, and I'm gonna choose my path file for the model one. I'm gonna click open, and I'm gonna choose the index file for the index one right here, index, index, open. Just click on upload wait for it a second and that's how easy it is to upload a model i'm just gonna click close and select markiplier now you can upload an image i'm just not gonna do it because i'm lazy i'm just gonna click start and it will instantly translate my voice into markiplier's let's try this out this is markiplier please subscribe to tech tricks tutorial this is Markiplier, please subscribe to Tech Tricks Tutorial. So right there, as you can see, it really works. You just have to find the right voice for you. So now let's proceed to the settings. The first one that we have is noise. I didn't select any for those. The second one we have this. I just select Crip because I think that's what works best for me. Right here, I just max it out. In the audio, just select your main microphone in the input. For the output, just select your headset or speaker to test the program out. The monitor is not important. I just select my main monitor right here. So right here, we have gain in and out. So it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want your mic to capture more volume, just turn this up. I'm just gonna select 4 for mine and if you want your speaker to be louder just turn this all the way up I'm just gonna select 0 0.7 for me right here we have tune this is where it gets interesting if you have a really low pitch voice turn this down and it will make the voice deeper for you if you have a really deep voice turn this up and this will make the voice sound low pitch so you have to test with this so if you're a male with a really deep voice and you're using this cute e-girl voice you're just gonna have to turn this all the way maybe to 12 12 hits the spot the best right here on index i'm just gonna set this to zero because it's not that important you can save your settings right here now in order to start the program you're just gonna select the start right here in order to stop it you're gonna select stop so right here we have chunk chunk is basically how many chunks does it do before it pushes the voice out so right here we have the fastest eight but it's really gonna sound really choppy i think 384s hits the spot the best now you can choose this 2048 but it's gonna really take really long but it's gonna sound more enhanced right here i'm just gonna so select this 384 right here for my discord and for the extra just go for the 13k if you don't have a gpu select the cpu one if you have a gpu select the zero and for this you don't have to mind this that's every settings there is i guess right now we're at the last step so for the third link we're gonna have to download this vb audio cable if you're using windows click in here if you're using mac click in here so i'm just gonna click this since i already download mine i'm gonna cancel it out now open your downloaded folder so right here i have my downloaded folder i already unzipped it just click on it so for you to install it click the vb cable underscore setup underscore x64 make sure it's it has the x64 on it right click it and run it as admin now this is really important 
for it in order to work for it properly i'm gonna select yes since i already have mine installed it already says here remove driver so after installing the file you're gonna have to restart your computer and now let's work with it on discord now before we head into our discord settings just make sure the cable input is at ready also at recording make sure your cable output is is at ready just click on ok so we're at the discord voice settings right here just choose your input voice for the cable output right here so it's okay let's now proceed to the ai voice changer program and scroll all the way to the bottom right now we're at the audio settings just choose your output at cable input right here so that's how easy it is to set it up just choose your preferred voice i'm gonna choose this gora gora model i set my tune into 12 i'm gonna click start and i'm gonna test my voice to discord let's see how it goes hello guys welcome hello guys welcome so this is my voice so this is my voice so as you can see it really works it sounds a little bit choppy because we're testing it out but if you're in a real call it's gonna round it's gonna sound really smooth for you so you can really customize the voice into whatever you want to you can search what's everyone using right now what's the best voice to be using right now that's it for this tutorial today you can please subscribe and like the video i'll see you on the next time thank you